Try na any in your patent in Ninkomo. We are executive director of Institute for Education Studies. Na yen jina juni kakra. Efa a year a jadua parents each a fano a year school sa ebi bia. Womu do mumbe kusku a school fees no. A year kwe se a year chamene. Peter, good morning. Good morning, sir. Na improve this yano pa minia. Inya mi at. Minim so what is a parents? Are these legitimate concerns and parents not a raise you know? Constitution, a map or no, the provision of uh, education as a abiance. Now, who can you make a crime? You can say the private sector is supposed to support in the provision of education. Now, the education is a abiance simply because we know, say, a what we call in economics merit good. The ultimate and your idea, a year in your first one, a idea, a year of our mind. So yeah, the extra buying that because uh, buying it will be more uh, economically. You know, we say that the government is in for the social good and not for profit, as the private person is intended or would intend to do. Anything mm. education, yeah, this extra buying that. But yeah, yeah, who say it's not uh, always the government. It means it provides all aspects of our education for our public entity. Then there is a room given to the private sector to also support government in the provision of education. But the very moment that the private sector comes in, you know, then you know that the profit uh, orientation and that's the profit idea, you know, kicks in. Mm. And 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 when it happens like that, it becomes a little bit uh, challenging for anybody to want to um try to control or 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 manage the way and manner ah uh, private sector no ebe paso se obeje anase obe 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 carry ni 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 fees structure no esifa and yes i think sir um it it might be that they have a, a legitimate concern but it is also a choice, a decision that parents make that between the public and the private schools, I would want to take my ward to a private school. Um, my, uh, what we call a school choice of uh, uh, some international surveys, BIA or countries are. It might, what you are saying, uh, and normal circumstances, I have I've done one before. I, I, let me see, I've summarized one before in, in this country. Mm. And the results clearly show that uh, at the basic level, the parents prefer to take their awards to the private institution, I mean, the private schools, okay. as compared to the public schools. And we all know the reason for that. So if the preference is that you would want your award, you would want to take your award to a private institution. Then the next thing is, why do you want government to now come in and moderate the fees of a private entity? Ah, or no, uh, support the government to provide education. That is where the difficulty is. But they, 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 their concerns can be addressed by they talking to their service providers, I mean, the owners of the schools, you know, because, mm. of course, in those schools, you know, they have the PTA uh, associations and other uh, groups there on Bethany and raise this issue with them because it's a partnership. If the parents are not there, the schools, mm. I mean, if the parents didn't say, don't send their awards to the schools, the schools will not be operational. Mm. So the, the first point of call will not be to ask uh, government for me personally, it will not be to ask government to intervene, but the first point of call will be to ask the service provider, I mean the school owners, you know, to look at the fee structure again as, a, as an association like PTA or whatever, 
uh, the that exists in the school no? so that they can have a conversation and see what will benefit the two parties uh, in, in, in those private schools. Hmm. Opening, and see, and me and can say, say, a band, for instance, textbooks. A band, for instance, teachers are. Ye you so our private schools, you know, are buying a bit many private schools here in Komoa Kachi almost we produce a lot of teachers. Some of the teachers company are looking for avenues to get into uh, yeah, these schools. Uh, one more coach that day, you know, me and for one more. And it's a buying your mind, she says, okay, you be provided teachers at your mama. Even when it comes to the building of... Yeah, I'm going to take a look at the teacher, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going even textbook, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm about the even say be a infrastructure somewhere. About say okay, material somebody here no. Be a year, mamu a year waiver be for a period of this because it's because a social investment. You know, now I'm about it. Many say as to a year fees pricing and what's that? You see, mami, mami, and you are doing copy this. So who is saying you know how I start a few years ago? Yes. Yes. And ah, the argument was that. Um, Ghanaian kids are also in private schools, and I'm a boy. True. But what was the position of government and most other uh, uh, stakeholders? That the private schools are running their private entity, and therefore they, uh, they do not qualify. If you want your ward to qualify for uh, the free SHS program, you were told, brandly, that the ward should be taken to a public school. Mami Samo, another example. Who mm. say ask yesterday national standardized test? Yes. NST. Yeah, yeah, first one, and they only public basic schools. The second one are private schools for Nibemuno. The argument now is that they need to pay before they are what the, the children in those schools are allowed to write the NST. Mm. It is clear that although Nasia award the mandate to regulate in terms of as you said school environment because uh Ghana former the co school muho uh shared the the content almost 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 because uh your yeah, education yeah, system no your yeah, standards are yeah, first, uh, yeah, set, uh, so the private schools are supposed to oblige in terms of that mm -hmm. but when it comes to the funding the financing of the schools how the teachers are paid and so on and so forth my 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 COVID by a year didn't come more about um, the private schools. Some of them were losing, I mean, some of them were losing their uh, jobs. Yeah. I can't say because the public school teachers were still being paid, you know, you can't say there should be a way that a uh, government look, will, will support or will look at how this, uh, the private schools would be handled. Yeah. It, it didn't work because they practically are not under uh, the supervision. Interesting, Peter. I'm so uh, see, I'm, I'm, I'm citing all these examples to let us understand that it is going to be very difficult, okay, if not impossible, for government to step in and start asking private schools to charge specific fees. Because by our own practices, you know, we have we have excluded them when it comes to financing financing issues. We have excluded them in several aspects. And therefore, you cannot now step in and say that you know the operational cost of a private school entity. And therefore, because of the operational cost you know, or you, you, you assume to know, there should be this and that kind of charges that uh, the private school should um, 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 charge the parents. I, I think it's going to be something that is going to be very, very difficult. My last point on this, uh, yeah, uh, even within the private school set setup, if you want to regulate fees, how are you going to do that? Because they are not technically classified. You see, we, 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 we do not have classification like category A, private schools, where you can say that, okay, this is a category A, private school, and therefore you can charge this amount of fee. This category B, private school, therefore you can charge this amount of fee. You don't have this categorization within mm. the private school setup. Okay, so even if you want to step in and regulate, how are you going to set the fees? Because they are all not the same. Some are up there, some are... Some are very, very low. Some are even uh, practicing what, 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 what we call the low, low, low fees. They take daily fees. I mean, every day you go to school, you pay something. Yeah. So how are you going to even, even standardize their fees and then, and then, and then uh, 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 make it 
uh, uniform. How are you going to do that? Peter, these are legitimate questions. I'm going to pay you a bit of a say. Peter, what are your thoughts?